Time, an eternal river, flows relentlessly forward. It never pauses, never looks back, and never deviates from its path. This unyielding march of time shapes our existence, guiding us through the moments of our lives. We experience this unidirectional flow as the arrow of time. It is a constant companion, marking the passage of seconds, minutes, and hours, reminding us of the fleeting nature of each moment. It dictates our lives, from birth to death. From the first breath of a newborn to the final sigh of the elderly, time is the silent witness to our joys, sorrows, and everything in between. It's a fundamental aspect of our universe. The stars, the galaxies, and the very fabric of space-time itself are all bound by the inexorable flow of time. Yet for centuries, its nature has puzzled scientists and philosophers alike. The greatest minds have pondered its mysteries, seeking to understand why time flows the way it does. Classical physics, with its elegant laws of motion, offers no distinction between past and future. The equations that describe the motion of planets and particles are time-symmetric, meaning they work just as well in reverse. A pendulum swings back and forth, its motion symmetrical in time. This simple device, governed by the laws of classical mechanics, shows no preference for a particular direction of time. The equations governing its movement remain valid whether time runs forward or in reverse. This time, symmetry is a cornerstone of classical physics, yet it seems to contradict our everyday experiences. This time, symmetry, deeply embedded in physics, seems at odds with our everyday experience. In our daily lives, we see time moving in one direction, from past to present to future. The world around us is anything but reversible. We see processes that are clearly one way, events that cannot be undone. A dropped glass shatters, scattering shards across the floor. This is an irreversible event, a clear demonstration of time's arrow in action. We witness the aftermath, the irreversible consequence of time's passage. The broken glass cannot reassemble itself. The past cannot be undone. Reconstructing the shattered glass piece by piece to its original state seems like a feat reserved for fairy tales. In reality, the process of breaking and the passage of time are inextricably linked. This discrepancy, the clash between time symmetry and physics and its evident arrow in our macroscopic world, lies at the heart of the mystery. It challenges our understanding and compels us to look deeper. Understanding this profound puzzle requires venturing beyond the familiar realm of classical physics. We must delve into the realms of thermodynamics, quantum mechanics, and the theory of relativity. We must explore the frontiers of thermodynamics, complexity, and the very fabric of the cosmos. Only by examining these advanced concepts can we hope to unravel the enigma of time's arrow and its true nature. Ye enter Ilya Prigogine, a Belgian physical chemist and Nobel laureate. Prigogine's journey into the depths of scientific inquiry began with a fascination for the fundamental laws that govern our universe. His relentless curiosity and innovative thinking led him to explore the realms of thermodynamics, where he would make his most significant contributions. His groundbreaking work in non-equilibrium thermodynamics revolutionized our understanding of time's arrow. Prigogine's theories provided a fresh perspective on how systems behave when they are far from equilibrium, challenging the conventional wisdom that had dominated scientific thought for centuries. Prigogine's insights challenged the traditional view of a universe governed by deterministic laws and a clockwork universe. He questioned the long-held belief that the universe operated like a giant predictable machine, where every event could be precisely determined if one knew the initial conditions. He introduced the concept of dissipative structures, systems that exist far from equilibrium, constantly exchanging energy and matter with their surroundings. These structures are not static. They are dynamic and ever-changing, capable of self-organization and the emergence of new patterns. These systems, he argued, are the key to understanding the emergence of order and complexity in the universe, and ultimately, the arrow of time. Prigogine's work suggested that the universe is not a static entity, but a dynamic one, where order can spontaneously arise from chaos under the right conditions. Prigogine's work shattered the illusion of time symmetry in complex systems. He demonstrated that time is not merely a backdrop against which events unfold, but an active participant in the evolution of systems, influencing their behavior and development. He demonstrated that far from equilibrium, systems can evolve in unpredictable ways 
giving rise to novel structures and behaviors. This unpredictability is a hallmark of complex systems, where small changes can lead to significant and often unexpected outcomes. This spontaneous emergence of order, driven by dissipation and far from equilibrium, became a cornerstone in understanding the arrow of time. Prigogine's theories provided a framework for understanding how complexity and order can arise naturally in the universe without the need for external intervention. His legacy extends far beyond the realm of physics and chemistry. Prigogine's ideas have influenced a wide range of disciplines, from biology and ecology to sociology and economics, providing new insights into the behavior of complex systems in these fields. Prigogine's ideas have profoundly impacted our understanding of biology, ecology, and even social systems. By applying the principles of non-equilibrium thermodynamics, scientists have gained a deeper understanding of how living organisms, ecosystems, and social networks evolve and adapt over time. By embracing the concept of dissipative structures, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate dance between order and chaos that shapes our world. This dance is evident in the natural world, where patterns emerge and dissolve, and in human society, where innovation and creativity often arise from the interplay of stability and change. Prigogine's work reminds us that complexity is not something to be feared but embraced, as it is the driving force behind the richness and diversity of life. Imagine a river flowing over a rocky stream bed. The water, driven by gravity, cascades over the rocks, creating a mesmerizing dance of motion and sound. The water, driven by gravity, appears chaotic and turbulent. It rushes and tumbles, creating a seemingly random and disorderly flow. Yet, within this apparent disorder, patterns emerge. If you look closely, you can see the intricate designs formed by the currents. Small whirlpools and eddies form, persist for a while, and then dissolve only to be replaced by new ones. These swirling vortices are temporary, yet they exhibit a form of order within the chaos. These ephemeral structures, constantly exchanging energy and matter with the flowing water, exemplify Prigogine's dissipative structures. They are transient, yet they play a crucial role in the dynamics of the river. They exist far from equilibrium, sustained by the flow of energy through the system. The continuous input of energy keeps these structures alive, maintaining their form and function. A hurricane, a living cell, even human society, all represent different scales of dissipative structures. Each of these systems, though vastly different in nature, shares the common trait of being maintained by a constant flow of energy. What makes these structures so remarkable is their ability to spontaneously self-organize. Without any central control or blueprint, they form complex and ordered patterns. In the case of the river, the water molecules do not possess an inherent blueprint for forming whirlpools. There is no predetermined plan guiding their motion. Instead, these patterns emerge from the interplay of countless interactions between the water molecules and their environment. Each molecule's movement is influenced by its neighbors and the surrounding conditions. Dissipative structures highlight a fundamental principle. Order can arise from chaos, not through some preordained plan, but through the constant flow and dissipation of energy. This spontaneous emergence of order is a testament to the power of natural processes. This principle, deeply intertwined with the arrow of time, governs the evolution of complex systems across the universe. From the formation of galaxies to the development of life on Earth, the flow of energy shapes the complexity we observe. As we look at the universe, we see that dissipative structures are not just limited to rivers or hurricanes. They are a universal phenomenon present in all scales of nature. The expanding universe itself can be seen as a dissipative structure, constantly evolving and changing. Even within our own bodies, dissipative structures play a crucial role. The human brain, with its complex network of neurons, is a prime example. The brain's activity is maintained by the continuous flow of energy, allowing it to process information and generate thoughts. In ecosystems, dissipative structures are evident in the interactions between different species. The balance of life is maintained through the constant exchange of energy and matter, creating a dynamic and ever-changing environment. Human society, too, can be viewed through the lens of dissipative structures. Our technological advancements and innovations are driven by the flow of energy and information, leading to the continuous evolution of our civilization. As we continue to explore and understand the world around us, 
the concept of dissipative structures will remain a key to unlocking the mysteries of nature. It reminds us that order and complexity can arise from the simplest of interactions, driven by the relentless flow of energy. 